Hey, what's going on everyone? It's like a hero and today I'm going to show you my rifle build for Warlords of New York. It is the first build I actually made. It's the one I used as, so as soon as I leveled. It's the one I built. So uh, yeah, 2 million per shot is uh, pretty good on the, on the head. Let's get right into the video. And as always, make sure to check out my channel over on Twitch TV slash like a hero. I'm streaming this nightly. I'm actually going to stream this as soon as I upload this right now. It's just Twitch TV slash like a hero. Make sure to drop a follow. And you'll be notified next time I go live. So you're definitely going to be wanting to use the sharpshooter here for the extra stability, but also the extra headshot damage. And uh, that's that's pretty much it. That's what you use the sharpshooter for. Uh, the it, the crit damage and stuff does work well with the TAC-50, but pretty much make sure you go sharpshooter. Now, I am using the police MK-17 right now. It has rifle damage, crit damage, and damage out of cover. Really good stats to have on a rifle, on any weapon actually. Just could be a little higher, but... You know, it's day four. So uh, I have the Rifleman here, and the Rifleman has actually changed from previous. This, uh, in Warlords of New York, what it does is Lightning Headshots gives you a bonus weapon damage of 10% per headshot. Now you can stack it up to five times, so that's 50% uh, weapon damage, and every headshot that you do refreshes it, so you can continually have it on. It's really good for boss fights, really good for, for the harder difficulty. Um, it's just overall one of the best. Uh, for my scope, I have the C79 crit chance scope. I have the muzzle break for crit chance, and I have the laser pointer for crit chance. Now for the sturdy, uh, for the magazine, I do have the extended rounds, the sturdy magazine. I do think that the crit chance uh, mods for weapons are pretty meta right now. I would be using those first, and once you have your cap, then I could think about going other routes with that. For my mask, I have the Seska mask with the one piece for the 10% crit hit chance. I do have the weapon damage at max there. I have weapon handling and crit hit chance. Uh, my mod is a blue mod, but ideally you'd want all red mods in this. Now my crit chance is low here. I do have to recalibrate it over. It is, um, I since I recorded this video, I do have a higher one to, to do that. So, But you definitely want to have that. Um, for my backpack, I do have the Sombra backpack, and that's for 15% crit damage. It has weapon damage, crit damage, and critical hit chance. Now, these are the three talents that you, or the three attributes, right, with the core and the attributes that you always want to go with. Weapon damage, crit chance, and crit damage. After you have those caps, then you can mess around with other things, but I really think that those are the three reds that you're looking for in all your pieces of gear. For my talents, I have Unstoppable Force, and killing an enemy grants you 5% weapon damage and it stacks up to 5 times so that's 25% weapon damage and as I force is much better than it used to be uh, it doesn't work on armor anymore it's really really good now for my uh, chest piece it's the sacrifice providence probably one of the top if not the top chest piece to have for DPS I think it actually it is it just is it's, it's that good uh, the 3 piece does give you uh, the stats for providence that you're looking for Weapon damage, crit damage, headshot, and critical hit chance on the mod. Now, my headshot right now is currently recalibrated to headshot because I didn't actually have crit chance on my chest to recalibrate. But I have since gotten one 6% crit hit chance that will be replacing that headshot right there. Again, those are the three that you want. Crit chance, crit damage, and weapon damage. Now, for my talents, I have perfected glass cannon. Perfected glass cannon am amplifies your damage by 30% while you also take an amplified 60% damage. Now it is multiplicative, so you are going to be doing a lot of damage. Think of like Reckless from Division 1, but you're gonna be taking more damage. I still run this as solo, and I'm able to do solo challenges fairly, fairly easily. And um, I definitely run this in Heroics, right? When, when we got a, or Legendaries, when you have a tank, the Perfected Glass Cannon is top tier. Definitely be looking for that. Regardless, you, uh, now you can make some changes here, but I really think glass kind is just totally worth it. Uh, for my gloves, I have the final piece of Providence, and it has weapon damage, crit damage, and crit chance. Again, those are the three that you want. Ideally, I want all these to be higher. Um, so definitely look for that on the holster. It's that final piece of Providence with weapon damage, weapon hunting, and headshot damage. Now, ideally, this would be weapon damage, crit chance, and crit damage. However, this is what we have right now. We have to keep farming. For my knee pads, it's the Fox Prayers high-end uh, named knee pads. Now, damage shadow cover is top tier for anything. Weapon damage and crit hit damage is where, what we have there. And of course, the, the one piece gives us that 10% rifle damage. So yeah, that's the build right there, guys. I'm using a Revive Hive and I'm using the Fixer Drone. Let's look at the stats. On the stats, I'd have my weapon damage, my 
crit hit chance is at 53%. However, I'm missing that 6%, right, from the chest. That once I put that on there, we'll be like at 59% crit hit chance. My crit damage is at 110. And my headshot is at almost 99 headshot damage. Really good damage, guys. Really good build. If you like using rifles, make sure you are looking to get this build going. It definitely really, as the young kids say, it slaps. <laughs> but thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure to drop that sub. Make sure to hit that like button, guys, if you like the video. And, of course, I'm going to keep uh, pumping out these videos, build videos, guides, whatever, everything related to Division 2 I'm going to try to get out. And also, uh, make sure to hit that follow button over at my Twitch channel, Twitch TV slash Like a Hero. And I will see you guys later.